four minutes until Cygnus release. Tim Coper standing by in the uh, Cupola workstation as the prime robotic arm operation for this mission uh, with a good view of Cygnus ready for release on at uh, 8.30 a.m., uh, 254 miles over southern Paraguay, the uh, Cygnus cargo vehicle has been released from the International Space Station. Now in just about 20 seconds, uh, scheduled the first departure burn uh, to start drifting slowly away from the International Space Station. Clear departure motion as the Cygnus cargo vehicle drifts slowly away from the International Space Station. Separation is clear. The Ultraflex solar array is now coming into view from the uh, view of the camera on the end of the uh, robotic arm of the International Space Station. Now uh, just under 254 statute miles over Brazil. Station on space to ground two for Cygnus release. The Cygnus abort command has been completed and we're go to re-enable ISS thrusters. Eight thirty four AM Central Time, the Cygnus is uh just started its for its uh, departure burn, now drifting away from the International Space Station. Copy that's in work. To station on space to ground two for Cygnus release. We show that step three in the Cygnus departure and monitoring is complete, and we're going to step five for SSRMS cleanup. Now, we also wanted to congratulate the entire Cygnus team for a very successful mission of the SS Rick Husband, and as uh, as the Expedition 47 crew has uh, has noticed. We are very uh, grateful that uh, we've had the supplies and the science to sustain our mission here on the International Space Station. So thanks again. On the morning of June 22nd, uh, it will start re-entry delta velocity burns to slow down and allow gravity to pull the vehicle down into the Earth's atmosphere at 7.45 a.m. Central Time. 20 minutes later, it will experience two 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit as it re-enters the atmosphere over the South Pacific Ocean. 50 minutes later, from that final burn, it will impact in remote, uh, remote parts of the ocean.